This time on Ask Rad Rat, we're talking about 1080 triple flips, Thrasher's social responsibility, and the fastest possible speed on a skateboard. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to Rad Rat Video, the channel where you can learn something new about skateboarding three times a week. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I post something new about skateboarding, either skateboarding culture, learning tricks, learning about skateboarding video games, anything in between. Um, this series is called Ask Rad Rat, where I answer your questions about skateboarding. So I've got three for you today. First one is from T Mids 13 who says, do you think people who are doing the most insane tricks like 1080 triple flips actually contribute something to the sport? So first part here is that I don't think you really have an obligation to contribute anything if you don't want to. Skateboarding is an art. You can go do it and just do whatever you feel like, whatever you enjoy doing. You don't have to pu publish videos. You don't have to do anything. Uh, you don't have a responsibility to contribute, but uh, I do think that it does uh, anyway. I think that um, seeing a guy out there to spend a hundred tries trying to do some crazy trick that he just flukes into landing can still contribute something. So you see that guy working on that 1080 triple flip and then maybe you think, you know what, if he can do that, maybe I can do that 360 flip I've been struggling with, you know, or it sparks some other idea, you know, it makes you want to be the first to do this other thing that you decide to do. I think having more information, uh, seeing more things that are possible is always going to be a good thing. Um, so I know there are a lot of YouTube guys out there who just try to do a crazy thing to be the first one on paper to do it or something like that, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that and I do think that it can inspire and it can uh, directly be something good. I think about the front foot impossibles, you know, those have been around for a million years. I have a video about the, the Merlin twist right here. Um, and how that's over 25 years old, but it suddenly became popular. You know, uh, that can always happen too. I don't think 1080 triple flips in particular are gonna suddenly be popular and be in every video, um, but you just never know. So going out there and experimenting with stuff is always good. Don't try to hold yourself back because you feel like you're not contributing or you're not pushing in the right direction. You always gotta do your own thing. Second question is, what do you think of Thrasher posting content with behavior like this in it? This is from PW916. So Thrasher posts this kind of stuff from time to time, either fights or you know stuff with security guards and all that kind of stuff. And do they have a responsibility to be a good influence and stuff like that? I don't think they really do, but there's nothing wrong with setting a good example. So I think about back when I was in high school, every kid who skated in my school dressed the same way. They had the same haircut, you know, your hair gets a little bit too long and it flips out. Like that was what was cool at the time. They had the same brands of shirts and hoodies and all that stuff. Very impressionable, right? Um, and so does Thrasher, knowing that there's a million kids like that going to their website, is are they doing a public disservice by showing that kind of stuff? And I kind of think that they do. Um, it's kind of tough because no, they're not responsible for that. They don't have to be the babysitter of the internet or anything like that. But what good is it showing that kind of stuff? You know, who's really being benefited by seeing something like that? Nobody really. You know, I think about uh, Mike V, how he always has a helmet on. You know, he's trying to be a good example for kids to wear a helmet, although he isn't necessarily doing something that needs it. If he's just pushing down the sidewalk, he's got a helmet on. Why? Because he's trying to help people out. He's trying to be a good example. He's trying to have people be able to look up to him, especially kids um, who are impressionable and all that stuff. So, you know what? I think if Thrasher decided to not show that kind of stuff and take a stand and try to be a good example, I think that would be a positive thing. I don't think it really fits their image and I don't think they would ever do that. And I don't think they're legally required to do anything like that. Um, but I do think that it would be good just to show more positive stuff. Um, but that might just be me. The third question is from Bagel Skate, who asks, what is the fastest possible speed on a skateboard? I came up with a couple different ways to answer this. First is the actual world records. First one I found was Misho Urban, and he hit a top speed of just under 60 miles an hour, or about 96 kilometers per hour. This was on a motorized skateboard. So that's pretty crazy, just on a flat ground going 60 miles an hour on a skateboard. Imagine uh, speed wobbles or worrying about rocks and cracks and that kind of stuff. Uh, that's crazy fast, but there's another record. This is Kyle Wester, who in 89.4 miles an hour, or about 144 kilometers per hour, and this was unpowered. 
So imagine going 90 miles an hour down a hill on a skateboard, just completely crazy. You better hope it's completely straight and you have some way to stop. Um, that's just completely crazy. But that just shows me that that 60 miles an hour is more of a technological uh, record. So if you can go 90, then you just have to build a faster and faster motor and that kind of thing. But we're talking about the theoretical limit. What's the fastest you could possibly ever go on a skateboard given perfect skater, perfect equipment, all that kind of stuff. And the first thing I thought of was terminal velocity. So if you jump out of a plane, that's when the amount of gravity acceleration doesn't keep up with the wind resistance um, holding you back. So that would be about 122 miles an hour. And I think that you could theoretically possibly go that fast on a skateboard but you have to worry about your equipment. So I think your bearings would probably be fine, your wheels would probably be fine, but I'd worry about your trucks. So if you think about the faster you go, the tighter your trucks would have to be, but they can't be solid. So if you're going 100 miles an hour and your trucks are a tiny bit loose, you start to turn a little bit, you start to get in a cycle of speed wobbles, and then next thing you know, you're dead. Um, but they can't be solid either because if you're a tiny bit off course, you have to be able to carve a little bit to get back on course. You know, you're on a very gentle curve. You still need to be able to turn a little bit. So I think that would be the bigger concern. But if that's all figured out, I think 122 is the physical limit. But for a human, anything over 100 is gonna be pretty amazing. Uh, I don't know when we're gonna see anything like that though. So that's what I was able to find for that. Let me know your thoughts about that below. Also, I have links to my Instagram and Twitter below. You can go on those and send me your questions for next time. Um, and until next time, here's some more videos I did recently you might want to check out. I have a whole list of these Ask Rad Rat questions, but I have a bunch of other sorts of topics that you can check out as well. And make sure you hit my logo on screen right here to subscribe so you can keep learning new things about skateboarding three times a week. Thanks for watching.